So you can see, you got goo smeared in most of those, anyone that's got wires in it. Put some grease in, and then, bought my daughter a little paint set the other day, so I borrowed one of her paint brushes. And I got the fireman here helping me. He's got the paintbrush and a tube of dielectric, which is getting down to the bitter end. Good thing we're getting down to the bitter end of the wires. And then we got these ones here done. Brush both sides, and he is working on this. And we are brush, brush, brushing away. See? When we're done, we'll just blow those little hairs out of there. The grease will stick, and the hairs will blow away with the blowgun. Uh, not too worried about them. So, as long as we got something on there to uh, keep the rest from coming. And the scene one here that was already a little bit crusty. Or was that someplace else? Well, that was someplace else. Yeah, these plugs all look good. They just, like I say, get those. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Get that little bit of rust started or a scratch or someplace like that. And then that coating that GM puts on there is uh, damaged. And that's where the green corrosion will start. So get some of this in there. Give it a little longer life. Hopefully get a couple hundred thousand out of this truck yet. Got that all back in there. Wires plugged in. Plugged in the wire here. For the brake controller, put this battery box back in, lacking one bolt there, so got to go find that yet. Um, a little wire snap holder sits over there. Oh, then transfer down here in the wheel well. Um, purple wire here goes into the harness. All this here is going to go into the uh, fender well yet. Um, there is a vent line here. The four wire plug, try to get that in the center. I know I'm terrible at that, so anybody that's annoyed at me, sorry. Um, yeah, just keep fiddling around till we find all the wires. Uh, pretty basic to figure out if they fit because they either fit or they don't. So, um, yeah, so this one here is going to plug together with this one, two white ones, and then there's a black one here is going to go with this black one those two then this one here it's going to go into this four wire plug that i was just looking at it's going to go in there I'm not going to snap that in yet because i got to get some grease in there first then we've got a red one here got to figure out where it goes uh, and getting kind of close to the end of the wires here actually it's not uh too bad and then the uh ecm Goes in a bracket that's going to sit here, so I'm going to put that bracket in first and then slide the ECM kind of half down there. Plug these plugs back into the ECM, and I had one terminal that was a little bit corroded on the ECM, so I'll get that cleaned up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll keep rolling along. It's not going too badly. Um, there's one thing I didn't show on the disassembly, but there's the parking brake cable that I never did pull apart. So I was lifting on the cab and it's like, well, okay, fine. Here, finally noticed that I hadn't done that. So I just took the sawzall and cut it in half anyway. It's automatic truck and the cable was seized up anyway. So it's not a big deal if I decide to fix it. I'm gonna stick this little grommet back in there. Plug that up to keep the moisture and crap out. But other than that over here, I just tucked that in there for the time being. But uh, yeah, I just sawzalled that off. I'm just gonna sawzall it over there get it a little shorter so it's not going to rub on the tire or something so that's what i'm going to do there like i say it's park brakes not that important on an automatic in my opinion but not a big deal to fix it should i decide to uh big old harness here this one here is the tcm so it's got to go up to the top so yeah we'll get these wires strung around get some dielectric in there and plug them in got these all plugged back together dielectric up uh, the three of them, purple, black with gray, and then the white one. Uh, the other red one, and this one here is done up too. This here is just a breather for the front diff, so it's going to stick up here into the engine bay somewhere. There's a little snap for it up here, um, so we'll end up snapping that together a little later. Uh, the red wire, I didn't find a plug for it, so it's got to go up there somewhere and find the right plug for it. And if I can't find it, then I'll have to look back in my other videos. Um, like I say, it's sticking up. Stuck it up over here. So, we'll see where it all could reach to. Oops, got it dirty. I already put my dielectric on it and then 
Anyway, so we'll see where it goes. If not, I can look back in my video and find it too. Uh, oh, I bet you I know. That's the, uh, that one there actually went to the back here on the firewall. There was this uh, little um, sensor that was there, bolted on the firewall. No, I'm sure already that that's what that was for. And I thought that was the EGT sensor, but it was actually a NOx sensor for uh, the back side of the turbo. So this will have been extended up through here and it would have plugged in right there. So that's what that'll be. I will just go and look at the uh, sensor. Well, that sensor kept that little thing intact in with it. If I can find it here in my selection of junk. All my EGR parts that are not going back on. But I'll find that sensor and see, make sure that's where it went. So if you look at that, there's six plugs in there. I already greased it up. Six plugs in there. This is a knock sensor that was on the back side on the uh, downpipe. So this is not going back in, so that plug in there, it'll just stay the way it is. I'll probably blow on it a little bit, blow that dielectric down into the plug-in and just leave it hang there somewhere. Not too important. Um, like I say, this thing here is not going in there. It's a bunch of useless parts in there too. All the fuel system parts that we don't need. So, um, let's get this out of the way so we can see it. Thickums, or thickum, ECM's back in. Uh, this harness here comes up, it's got this big plug on it. Um, I run it up over here and then down here it goes on the back side here of the of the steering box so that's where I run it in and end up having to pull that line back off and moving it to the back side of that and then it goes up there comes up here in front of the ECM cover and uh, gives you room here for all this and it seems to make the most logical sense looking back in my videos that looks like where it was so I didn't make perfect footage of where it was there previously but it actually looks like it should be in behind here at this big space, but it uh, doesn't look like that's where it was previously. So we'll leave her there. Um, doesn't look like it's doing anything too harsh. And then there's a little uh, Christmas tree thing there that snaps in the side of the harness. I can just see the hole there, so i got to push that thing over to there yet and snap it in the hole. Um, yeah, then the battery box, we have a bunch of junk in the battery box already, but the ECM's in there, so now this little ECM cover can go back on, slide in there, and then uh, I've got the TCM wire plug, and that's it for wires except for those two, so I can throw the uh, AC pump back across, set it in its hole, plug those two in, and uh, then this side is ready for a fan, so then I'll go work on the other side. Uh, get the other side done up, do the fan last, it doesn't need to go in just yet, so not a big deal there. But yeah, I'll get that AC pump put in so the lines are laying across there the way they're supposed to. And uh, once that's where it's supposed to be, then I can route everything else around it. But this side is just this little plastic cover and it's about to, to be done, I would call it. It's, everything's sitting about the way it was. Oh, and that little ground wire there, I don't think I videoed that. So, bolts on the back of the head there. Uh, I don't know if you can quite see it there, but bolts on the back of the head. The ground's up right there. So, yeah, this side's looking good. Get the AC pump in place and continue on. So there's my belt guide, whatever you call it. Found it in my manual. It's not on the it's not on the little cover up front anymore, so there's the belt routing. Uh, just got the belt put in there, all routed up, so runs around the idler, around right here, alternator. I always put everything else on and leave the alternator off, and then I pull my tensioner and uh, get, get the slack in the tensioner and then put it onto the alternator because that's the easiest one to get at. So that's all good there. Um, still got this one here, you'll see it's not quite centered, so we'll move that. Get that centered up, and then, uh, yeah, that's good there. And the last video was September 3rd, and then now we're September 14th, so... So, eh, a bunch of 
time spent on everything else from moving cows to wrapping bales and haying and whatnot. So yeah, coming up here, I got these here put on. So now I'm ready for this corner brace that goes in here. So we'll get that put in and then uh, go from there, figure out what up, what's up next. Is the helper boy. And there's the helper boy. He is a helpering, warning me about the cat, digging a hole, just had a turd.